Welcome back to another exciting episode of Camber and Bobby. In today's episode, I get a long tube down my nose. I have to collect a specimen, aka take a poop, and do some weekly chores around the house. All that and more, so stick around, yeah! Update on this whole H priori thing. They want to see if it's still in my system. So I go to the hospital and I give them my paperwork. I'm like, hey, uh, the doctor needs me to do this. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to give you a kit. You're going to take it home and you need to c collect a specimen sample. So they want me to take a poop. They want me to take a poop in this. How in the heck am I supposed to poop in this? Like poop in a box? Sure. Poop in a pee cup? How am I supposed to poop in this? <laughs> this this doesn't make sense. So I gotta figure this out. Um, I don't think it's gonna be an easy task. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna wake up? <laughs> you know what time it is? I don't know either. But it's time to get up. Either way. Time to get up. What do you want, my kisses? Aw. You don't want no more kisses. What about you? Do you want some kisses? You want to see? I don't you give me the foot! Don't give me the foot! I want some kisses! I want some kisses! I want some kisses! Give me the kisses! They get older and they don't want no kisses? What the hell? You got a package, Xander. You're not very good at staying in there and being quiet. <laughs> Try to prank your brothers. Uh oh, are you trapped? There's the finger. Freya, are you stuck in there? Can you get out? Rawr. All right, so I don't see. So this kit didn't come with like a catch can for collecting the sample. Um, so I got creative and used a uh, one gallon Ziploc bag and pooped in that. And um, closed the bag and cut one of the corners and just like you'd pipe a decorate a cake I piped it into the cup <laughs> now I know what you're thinking you're like Bobby why did you pipe it in because since starting carnivore my poop hasn't been exactly what you call solid there you go had to do that into a plastic bag <laughs> Oh, it's so gross. Ugh. Yeah. That's my life right there. That is... That, that's what I gotta deal with, I guess. <laughs> oh, nasty. There it is. There's the sample. <laughs> so, so now, imagine having to go through security at Advent Health 
Um, you have to empty your pockets, put everything on the table, and here I am carrying this poop sample <laughs> through security. <laughs> Every morning, make my coffee. That That's kind of like my cheat to carnivore is using the sugar-free and the whole milk um, to be able to still have a coffee. So, it's something besides just drinking water. what I do every morning that that's the milk that's how I know I'm not allergic to dairy all right so I'm sitting here in the hospital um, waiting to get my scan done and uh, we'll see I'm gonna have to break my diet and eat stuff I normally don't eat to do this scan because they're seeing how my esophagus works the most the upper and lower muscle the esophagus so we'll see how things go hopefully they find something or at least rule out something. I mean, either way, that something's going to come of this test. So, um, all right. So, you are starting. Look straight ahead. See your head down a little bit. Okay. Thank you. So far, so good. Feeling weird, yeah, but yes. Yeah, feeling weird. So you start to drink your water. Okay. Yeah, okay, there it goes. You got two hands. You swallow. You're going to keep swallowing with me, okay? Keep okay. swallowing your water. Right, and swallow. But you're doing great, we're almost there. You're all, oh, you're doing wonderfully. There we go. We're almost there. Okay, we're in. Take a nice big breath for me. Perfect. Yep, we are in. You did great. Wow, that felt weird. <laughs> that felt weird. So I'm going to put a piece of tape so that doesn't move around so much. All right, so I'm all done. That that did suck. <laughs> that that sucked a lot. It just felt weird. My nose feels like I got like an itch I can't scratch. It's just it's just a weird feeling right now. So, but it's all done. I can go home, and hopefully we figure something out from this. Yeah. Can I have some kisses? No. Give me the kisses. Give me the kisses. Give me the kisses. Don't look at yourself. Give me the kisses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here I am doing my weekly chores, which is taking care of the pool area. Now, we had our pool area set up a little differently for when Cambria's sister was in town, so that's why I'm moving the grill and this plastic container back. I have to do all the chemicals and stuff like that to the pool. There you go! <laughs> Damn it. 
Some grossness from when it cleaned the pool last. That gator's too big. <laughs> so I think I figured it out. His uh, chambers, he's got a um, air hole to fill like his legs and tail, and I believe the head, and then there's a separate chamber just for the middle. I think wherever that connection is inside is all broke. So he's a, he's a large gator. He's a, he's a full one right now. And I'm just gonna top these guys off. They ain't, I don't believe these have a leak. They're just needing to be just topped off. All right, so now I gotta do the chemical um, in our solar duct here. We got the tabs, the three inch tabs that go in him. And then I'll work on the spa. But yeah, we got this duck. We still have three of these tabs in there. You can see he does not. So I'll keep this tab. And these tabs, like these pieces, I'll throw in the filter trap. And they can just disintegrate in there. Alright, now we gotta send the ducky on his way. Alright, go to work, duck. Clean the pool. Where's my... Oh, the robot's way over there. He's still going. Mix up all the stuff I put in. Mix it, mix it. 
And I clean that filter still. This one I just pulled out. A little dirty. Anyways, uh, try to be a nice guy, and we were over at Cambria's uncle's house. He just moved in down here, um, and I helped out hanging a uh, chandelier in his dining area, and something happened to my back while I was on the ladder. I got shooting pains going down in my butt from my lower back. It is not pleasant. So I'm sitting in this tub. Hopefully that'll help. Because driving home was extremely painful. So any bump, just it was hitting just right and just pain. Shooting pain. This back has not been doing good lately. And uh, I'm hoping my H. pylori test comes back good because then I can at least start rebuilding my immune system after taking those antibiotics. So I think that's probably some of this issue is just my body is worn out and then starting carnivore it's like trying to adjust and it's it doesn't know what to do it just knows that it's weak so I'm hoping hoping get my results back I gotta I, I guess I gotta like log in online or something maybe check it out see if they're up yet so yeah that's what I got going on in the tub. At least it's not my GERD. But shooting pains, they're, they're not fun either. But not as bad as GERD. GERD's the worst. So after the tub, I did log in online and saw my results on my H. priori. Came back and they showed that it is gone. Yay! So when you're living with Cambria... This stuff comes out a lot earlier than normal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fall is uh, coming. So today, I'm going to get a HIDA scan, which uh, that's going to check my gallbladder. So, this should be good. Hopefully, like I said, we get some answers, a little bit more info on do we need to remove the gallbladder or what? Obviously, I'll have to wait for results and whatnot, but at least the scan is getting done. And then after this scan, I only have one more that I need to do. That, And then that'll be all three that the doctor ordered. So we're making progress, which is great news. All right, so I'm all prepped and just waiting for my turn to, on the imaging table. So you can see, got that all going on. And this will do the uh, test on my gallbladder. So we'll see how that's working. Hopefully it's working good and, or hopefully it shows us working bad and then we go from there, I mean, either way. All right, so I'm in the machine here. It's gonna be kind of hard to see it, but oh, yeah, look at that view. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I just lay here, and that's it. Done with my HIDA scan on my gallbladder, and surprise, surprise, one of the gallstones is blocking the tube to let them complete the scan. So now I have to come back early tomorrow morning 
for them to finish to see if maybe the as I move if um, the stones will move out of the way so they can finish this scan here so yeah so there's definitely stones possibly being uh, a problem and being in the way so and that's something not something good but something at least at least it did it you know for them during the test you know like normally you do a test and or whatever I don't feel good and they do a test they're like yep we don't see anything wrong at least this showed something so but what stinks is I gotta be back there tomorrow at 7 30 not really a fan of that but at least then it'll be done right away and I'll have the rest of the day like cuz this test already took way longer than I thought instead of it being a two-hour test is actually four hours because my gallbladder was not working like it wouldn't let wouldn't let them get what they needed but I did get a good nap in so that's a good thing nothing wrong with a nap unfortunately my back started hurting and it was a little hard to to get up then after that that shooting pains so well it's 7 a.m. Not my normal time to wake up, I'll tell you that much. Driving. Finished the uh, height of scan. And, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see if those stones, uh, the gallbladder stones moved or not. <laughs> if they didn't, then, uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I'd say that's definitely a not a good thing. <laughs> Ugh. Tired. It's crazy after it being so dang hot and humid. And then you get up at this at seven, drive around. It's 77 degrees. Feels cold. It's weird. It's just weird. And cold to me. Without that sun and that humidity, like just pouring through, it feels cold. But, well, at least driving. If I have the windows down, it feels cold. All right. So I'm back here at Twin Lakes Imaging, and uh, I get to come here next week too. So for my last scan, so we'll see how uh, see what today brings. All right, so. Looks like that stone or stones are still blocking uh, and not letting my gallbladder do what it's supposed to do. So they said they're getting over to the radiologist. He'll look at the, uh, ooh, that's funny. Look at the results and get it back to my doctor and we go from there. But I guess my gallbladder might need to be removed or needs to be removed. Who knows? I'll wait for the results, but. That's what it's looking like right now. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully next time we'll have an update on my current health status. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell. Hit the like button and drop a comment. Let us know what you thought. We'll see you next time. Bye.